Member for North Island. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. The Guasala Nakudo Nation traditionally existed as two separate tribes. Their traditional homelands are distinct and separate and are located on BC's central mainland coast. In 1964, the Guasala and Nakudo tribes were forcibly relocated from their homelands and amalgamated. They moved to the Sokati Reserve, adjacent to Port Hardy on the north coast of Vancouver Island. They were promised housing, better access to health care and education. They arrived to find only three unfinished houses. Many tried to go back to their homes and villages, but they were burned down by the federal government. After the pain of this forced relocation, many turned to alcohol. Many did not survive. Their population dropped to around 200. Today, Mr. Speaker, the population is approximately 1,100 registered members. 56% of those members reside at Sukwadi, and the average age of the members, according to the 2016 census, is 28 years old. A forward-thinking, comprehensive community plan in 2010 resulted in the Kwatsi Economic Development Corporation. The KEDC has been behind the modern four-star Kualilas Hotel, as well as other activities such as tourism, forestry, fisheries, construction and transportation. They are also very invested in finfish aquaculture, as well as seaweed and shellfish aquaculture. The Guasalanakudo Nation is an independent nation that manages all of its finances, education, and social and cultural agencies, Mr. Speaker. The land has started to be prepped for the new big house, and the four main poles are already carved. And in collaboration with our Child Care BC program, a new on-reserve daycare will celebrate its grand opening on May 31st. They continue to have social and, ch and cultural challenges, Mr. Speaker, but are strong and vibrant with a strategic focus on their future. I'm proud to be part of a government that is committed to self-determination, self-governance, and reconciliation. And I'm hopeful we will see our federal counterparts uh, take, take the lead so the Guasala Naquido can look forward to meaningful and productive consultations with all levels of government.